Hello, I'm Rick Parker. And I'm Jack McGurk. We're members of the Hospital Alliance Association, commonly called HOSPA. This video will walk you through the procedures to use for terminal and between case cleaning and disinfecting for operating rooms. Additionally, the procedures to follow for cleaning and disinfecting outpatient surgery areas are discussed. The video also covers procedures to follow for disinfecting a gurney. Although procedures vary slightly between various hospitals, this video has been developed with input from representatives from several hospital chains. As such, this video provides the basic concepts for properly cleaning and disinfecting these important areas of hospitals and outpatient surgery suites. Following these procedures should ensure the effective cleaning and disinfection of surgery areas. It will also minimize the patient's and healthcare professional's exposure to potentially infectious microorganisms. These cleaning and disinfecting procedures should be followed when the scheduled procedures are completed for the day, every 24-hour period during the regularly scheduled work week. All personnel must follow OSHA's bloodborne pathogen standards when performing cleaning and disinfection procedures involving contact with blood or other potentially infectious materials. Environmental service supervisors and managers should use test strips to measure chlorine levels before dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser on a routine basis to ensure the proper strengths of the product are being dispensed. We hope you enjoy this video and learn the new two-step cleaning process for operating rooms. Thank you. Enjoy. The following supplies are needed to clean, disinfect, and resupply the operating room. ChemSpec Detergent Free Cleaner, DFC 14,000 Cleaner, Ultra 6% Disinfectant Bleach, Paper Towels, Red Medical Waste Liners, Clear Trash Bags for Containing Solid Waste, blue linen bags to contain linens from surgery, green recycling liners, and clean linen to cover the operating table. The following equipment must be available for use in the cleaning and disinfecting of the operating room. Wet vacuum and or auto floor scrubber, microfiber cleaning mops, microfiber cleaning cloths, 3M easy trap duster system, dustpan and counter brush. Prior to starting the cleaning and disinfection process in the operating room, you must first wash your hands. A 2011 survey conducted by Infection Control Today magazine found lack of or improper hand hygiene to be the number one breach of infection prevention in the operating room. The hands should be washed for 20 seconds, the time it takes to sing, row, row, row your boat through two times. Don gloves, scrubs, booties or dedicated shoes for the area, head covering, and other personal protective equipment, PPE, required to be worn in the operating room. Set up the cleaning cart with cleaner and disinfectants or take the containers directly into the operating room that is to be clean and disinfected. If the cart is used, keep it outside the operating room being cleaned and disinfected and walk to and from it for supplies. The floor cleaner should be set up by filling a container or mop bucket with DFC 14,000 floor cleaner dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser with the lever placed on the number 2 setting. The container and or mop bucket must be labeled with the ChemSpec DFC 14,000 floor cleaner number 2 label. To set up the cleaner, fill a container with DFC 14,000 cleaner dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser number 3 setting. The container must be properly labeled with ChemSpec DFC 14,000 Cleaner number 3 label. The disinfecting bleach solution must be set up by filling a container with Ultra 6% disinfectant bleach dispensed from the ChemSpec number 4 setting. The container must be labeled with the Ultra 6% disinfectant bleach label. After setting up the products to be used in cleaning and disinfecting the operating room, enter the operating room, remove trash, soiled linens, biohazardous waste, recycling containers, if applicable, and place these outside the operating room for disposal and handling in appropriate rigid containers. If a mobile computer is located in the operating room, it must be cleaned and disinfected. 
Wipe the mobile computer with a microfiber cloth that has been immersed in a container of DFC 14,000 cleaner dispensed from the number 3 setting on the ChemSpec dispenser. Follow this with a wipe of the monitor and keyboard with a microfiber cloth that has been immersed in a container of ultra 6% disinfectant bleach of at least 1,000 parts per million dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser number 4 setting. If a permanently affixed computer is present, clean and disinfect it with the other equipment following the same procedure. Clean and disinfect the operating room from top to bottom. Clean the ceiling, ceiling lights, and walls using a clean microfiber mop that has been immersed in DFC 14000 cleaner, dispensed from a ChemSpec dispenser on the number 3 setting. It may be necessary to drop the light covers to clean inside of them. Clean baseboards and detail clean along the edges with the same solution. Disinfect all these surfaces using Ultra 6% Disinfecting Bleach dispensed from the ChemSpec Dispenser number 4 setting. Wash doors, door frames, hinges and doorknobs from top to bottom using a clean microfiber cloth immersed in a container of DFC 14000 cleaner dispensed from a ChemSpec dispenser at the number 3 setting. Follow this with a wipe of the surface with a clean microfiber cloth that has been immersed in the Ultra 6% disinfecting bleach. Clean all ventilation faceplates using a 3M Easy Trap Duster System cloth to pick up dust. Then clean the ventilation faceplate using a microfiber cloth that has been immersed in DFC 14000 cleaner and follow this with a wipe of the surface with a clean microfiber cloth that has been immersed in Ultra 6% disinfecting bleach. Clean the surgical light lenses and backs using a clean microfiber cloth immersed in DFC 14000 cleaner dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser on the number 3 setting. Use a clean microfiber cloth immersed in a container of DFC 14,000 dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser number 3 setting to clean all fixtures, equipment, furniture including wheels, casters, step stools, foot pedals, telephones, light switches, and all other horizontal surfaces. Thoroughly clean the surgery table including the pad and base using this solution and a fresh microfiber cloth. Use a clean microfiber cloth immersed in DFC 14000 cleaner dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser number 3 setting to clean windows, ledges, cabinets, IV poles, stools, tables, solid linen hampers, waste receptacles, casters on equipment, ceiling tracks and sprinklers, clocks, all equipment cords free from dust, bovie machines, fatigue mats, handles of cabinets and push plates. If applicable, use the same cleaning and disinfectant procedures to thoroughly clean and disinfect all surfaces of the baby warmer, including under the mattress. Clean solid waste, biohazardous, recycling and linen containers with a clean microfiber cloth immersed in DFC 14000 dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser number 3 setting and then use a clean microfiber cloth to apply Ultra 6% Disinfecting Bleach Disinfectant dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser at number 4 setting. Move all furniture to one side of the room or outside of the room. Then flood or wet the operating room floor in a cleared area with DFC 14000 Floor Cleaner dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser from the number 2 setting. Wet vacuum the floor or alternatively use an auto scrubber such as the Tenet Echo H2O scrubber to wet scrub and vacuum the floor. DFC 14000 floor cleaner dispensed from the ChemSpec number 2 setting can be used through the Tenet scrubber. Move the furniture to the just clean side of the room and repeat the process to clean the dirty side. Following the cleaning and disinfection process, remove and discard your gloves and wash your hands for 20 seconds. Rearrange all furniture in its proper place. Replace clean liners on the waste receptacles. Make up the surgery table and baby warmer if present. The operating room is ready for use. 
core and associated areas. Follow similar cleaning and disinfection procedures for all anti-rooms, surgical office areas, lavatories, and locker rooms. Between cases, cleaning and disinfecting. A very brief time is generally allotted for cleaning and disinfecting between surgery cases in the operating room, while terminal cleaning of the operating room focuses on thorough cleaning of all aspects of the room and equipment within it. Between cases cleaning deals with cleaning and disinfecting the sterile field around the operating table. The object of this cleaning should be to reduce dust, debris, and organic matter within the surgical field. The Association of Perry Operating Room Nurses states that it's only necessary to clean a 3-foot to 4-foot parameter around the surgical field when doing between-case cleaning and disinfection. However, this area should be enlarged as necessary to include cleaning of any visible soiled areas or equipment. The surgery table must be moved and the padding removed for cleaning and disinfection and to check to see that no items from previous cases are under it. The following list of supplies must be available for between case cleaning and disinfecting of the operating room. Chemspec detergent free cleaner, DFC 14,000 cleaner, ultra 6% disinfectant bleach, paper towels, red medical waste liners, clear trash bags to containerize solid wastes, blue linen bags for soiled linens, green recycling liners, and clean linen to place on the surgery table. The following list of equipment must be available for between case cleanings and disinfecting of the operating room. Microfiber cleaning mops, microfiber cleaning cloths, dustpan, and counter brush. Prior to starting the between case cleaning and disinfection process in the operating room, you must first wash your hands. The hands should be washed for 20 seconds, the time it takes to sing, row, row, row your boat, through two times. Don gloves, scrubs, booties, or dedicated shoes for the area, head covering, and other PPE required to be worn in the operating room. Since time between cases in the operatory are short, only the DFC 14,000 cleaner dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser number 3 setting and the Ultra 6% disinfectant bleach dispensed from the ChemSpec number 4 setting are used. Set these two products up as you did for terminal cleaning of the operating room in properly labeled containers. Gather the other supplies and equipment needed to clean and disinfect the operating room between cases. Enter the operating room and remove trash, dirty linens, biohazardous waste, recycling containers if applicable, and place these outside of the operating room for disposal and handling. Using a microfiber cloth that has been immersed in DFC cleaner dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser from the number 3 setting, spot clean the operating table and all equipment in the surgical field that is visibly soiled with blood or body fluids and then spot clean visibly soiled areas of walls. Use a microfiber mop that has been immersed in DFC cleaner dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser from the number 3 setting to spot clean visibly soiled areas on the floor. Using a microfiber cloth that has been immersed in ultra 6% disinfecting bleach dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser number 4 setting, wipe the operating table and all equipment in the surgical field including the surgical light lenses. Using a microfiber mop that has been immersed in ultra 6% disinfecting bleach dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser number 4 setting, mop the floor in the surgical field. Remove your gloves and wash your hands for 20 seconds. Replace the clean liners on the waste receptacles. Make up the surgery table. The operating room is ready for the next case. Disinfecting a gurney. Gurneys are used to transport patients throughout the hospital for treatment, procedures, and into and out of operating rooms. At any time, the demand for gurneys may be high, necessitating that the disinfecting process be done quickly and effectively. Supplies and equipment needed. Ultra 6% disinfectant bleach dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser number 4 setting and wet task single-use wipes dispensed from a plastic tub. The tub must be labeled with the Ultra 6% disinfectant bleach label. 
Prior to starting the disinfection process for gurneys, you must first wash your hands. The hands should be washed for 20 seconds. Don gloves and any PPE required for the area where the gurney is to be disinfected. Fill a properly labeled wet task plastic tub containing dry cloths with ultra 6% disinfectant bleach dispensed from a ChemSpec dispenser on the number four setting. Remove any linen from the gurney. Pull a wet task cloth from the plastic tub that has been filled with ultra 6% disinfectant bleach and wipe the gurney starting with the padded area where the patient comes in direct contact with the gurney. Wipe the sides and the frame of the gurney. Remove gloves and wash your hands for 20 seconds. Replace linen if required. The gurney is ready for reuse. Cleaning and disinfecting outpatient surgery areas. The number of surgeries performed that require no hospitalization continues to grow each year. These outpatient surgeries vary significantly in the length of time required for the surgery, the amount of wastes generated, and the number of pieces of equipment needed. An arthroscopic surgery may create a large volume of liquid waste, while a simple incision to drain a cyst will generate little waste. Cleaning an operatory used for outpatient surgery will vary in the degree of cleaning required based on the type of surgery case that has been completed. By following the same procedures used for cleaning and disinfecting an operating room at the end of each day, will ensure a clean and properly disinfected environment in which the next surgery case can be performed in the outpatient surgery suite. Prior to starting the cleaning and disinfection process in the outpatient surgery areas, you must first wash your hands. Don gloves, scrubs, booties, or dedicated shoes for the area, head covering, and other personal protective equipment, PPE, required to be worn in the outpatient surgery area. Set up the cleaning cart with the cleaner and disinfectants or take the containers directly into the outpatient surgery suite that is to be cleaned and disinfected. The floor cleaner, cleaner, and disinfectant bleach should be set up by following the same process as was done for the operating room. After setting up the products to be used in cleaning and disinfecting the outpatient surgery suite, enter and remove trash, soiled linens, biohazardous waste, recycling containers if applicable, and place these outside of the suite for disposal and handling in appropriate rigid containers. The same procedures used for cleaning and disinfecting an operating room at the end of the day or between cases should be followed in cleaning and disinfecting an outpatient surgery suite. Remember to clean and disinfect the outpatient surgery suite from top to bottom. Pay particular attention to the area within the sterile field where the surgery is being performed. Clean and disinfect the surgery table and all equipment in this area using a clean microfiber cloth that has been immersed in DFC 14,000 cleaner dispensed from a ChemSpec dispenser on the number three setting. And then disinfect all of the surfaces and equipment using ultra 6% disinfecting bleach dispensed from the ChemSpec dispenser number four setting. Following the cleaning and disinfection activities, remove and discard your gloves and wash your hands for 20 seconds. Rearrange all furniture in its proper place. Replace clean liners on the waste receptacles. Make up the surgery table. By following the same procedures used for cleaning and disinfecting an operating room at the end of the day will ensure a clean and properly disinfected environment will ensure a clean and properly disinfected environment in which the next surgery case can be performed in the outpatient surgery suite. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something from the video. Following these procedures in cleaning hospital rooms has been shown to reduce healthcare acquired infections by greater than 50%. At the end of the day, Jack? We want to save, save lives. lives.